What's up, everybody? It's a dark, rainy night. I uh, just got off work. I'm sitting in a parking lot and like where I do most of my videos. And what I wanted to talk about tonight is um, being in struggle and going through hardships um, and enduring perseverance. And when these things happen, it is so common and it's so normal to think nobody knows my situation okay like um, say somebody dies um, you know okay I know other people you know have lost loved ones but they don't know they don't know how much I love them or they don't know my situation or my situation is different but the truth is it's not um, your situation is it's a trial it's a tribulation it's a season of um, depression, anxiety, um, you know, there's even s seasons of, um, of happiness. And what we need to understand is that, um, is that as believers in Christ, um, we too will face um, trials, tribulations, and seasons of grief and anxiety and even anger um, in our lives. But what we really need to do is think. I, I'm sure everybody remembers the what would Jesus do bracelets, WWJD bracelets. A lot of people made fun of those, but I think they're so, so cool and they're so beneficial. Um, I mean, there are just some angry people in the world, and I don't want to get too far off topic, but there are just some angry, ticked off people in the world that you just want to slap them upside the head and say, open your Bible, you know? Like, don't be an idiot. Like, so many people take. Okay, so many people take trials and tribulations and seasons of grief and depression and they either, they do one of two things, is they either shut down completely or they get mad. They get mad at God, they get mad at other people, they get mad at themselves and it shows. I mean, it obviously shows. You can tell a person, you know, that's why I believe most people have the problems they do when, you know... I don't really think there's a bad person in the world. I think bad things happen to, to people, um, and how they react is it comes out either as good or bad. So, anyways, getting back on track, it's it's normal um, to think that your situation is different and that no one understands, and that you know you're alone in this. But the truth is, you're not. There's a body of believers on Earth um, as Christians that understand what you're going through and more importantly there is there's Jesus Christ you know the the creator of all things who, who knows the number of hairs on your head um, and who wants nothing more than to bless and prosper you he understands there's nothing too big for God so what does that mean when, when you face when you face these troubles in in tribulations I'm trying to think of an example because I've been in a lot lately, but let's put it like this. Um, at my job, there's people that are just unhappy, just unfreaking happy. No matter what happens, they're always going to be upset about something. And with those people, um, you know, it takes a toll on me, I guess, in the sense that they will you know, if something's going on in their, in their life and they're an angry person or an unhappy person, and I, I believe this is common for a lot of people, they will take it out on you. And, you know, that eventually takes a toll on you. Um, when, when someone complains to you or says, you know, this or that, you start to think, well, maybe, maybe I am not, you know, doing something right, or maybe I am this, or maybe I am that. You become a victim of their, of their, um, Whatever. You become a victim of... Oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> you be... <coughs> I think that's so funny. I'm gonna leave it on there. Um, You become a victim of their circumstances. And it's ridiculous that people are 40 years old, 30 years old, 40, 50, 60, and beyond. Oh my gosh, that guy's on a bike in the rain. And they still have not learned how to deal with these things. And the first thing you do is take it to God. You know, 
if you want positive reinforcement and you want help in your life and you want things to get better, even if you're not a Christian, hello, you know, you need to treat people with respect. So, anyways, going through this, it is easy to fall in a slump of your own when you're burdened by other people's problems because they're facing trials. The, the thing is, um, guys, is that there's, there's good and evil in the world at all times. And um, Satan is ranging throughout the earth, as the book of Job says, and God is ranging throughout the earth. So, um, you know, just being aware that these trials, and I believe it's First Peter that says, beware of the fiery trial. You know, we need to be on guard and know that these things are going to happen. And um, in the book of James, uh, chapter 1, verse 2 through 4, I believe, uh, my friends, consider yourselves fortunate when all kinds of trials come your way. For you know that when your faith succeeds in facing such trials, the result is the ability to endure. You develop endurance. So, first thing is, I'm sure everyone's heard um, the phrase, oh, you're going to come out of this a big, uh, better and stronger person. And if you rely on Christ to get you through this, that's true. Um, you know, James says you're going to develop uh, perseverance, or excuse me, endurance in this verse. Uh, verse 4, make sure that your endurance carries you all the way without failing, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Jeremiah 29.11, you know, I don't know if it's way. God has plans to prosper us and not to hurt us, you know. So, um, going through these trials, whether we're a victim of somebody else's consequences or we have problems of our own, just leaning on God to ask for help um, will envelop, will develop your endurance. And when your endurance is there, you will be perfect, lacking nothing. You will know the whole system, and everybody's journey is different. You will know the whole system and get to know God in your own personal way. So, guys, if, if you're having a hard time, take it to God. And for God's sake, stop taking it out on other people. Um, you know, if you see somebody else having a bad day or something, you know, show them, just treat them with love. You know, as God says, the greatest commandment is, is, is to love. Love others, you know, and like, like you love God. Now, love others like you love God. I know that's hard to imagine, but... Man, when you see these people out there that are just complaining and moaning, and uh, instead of laying down and being a victim of their circumstance, just be calm. Show them, show them a patient, kind heart with love. And, um, you know, you may not change them. You may not even plant a seed. But it's a heck of a lot better than laying down and, um, and letting yourself get beat up on uh, by other people like I have and like I do. Um, but it's something I'm working on. Um, so yeah, this is just, you know, kind of narrow, but, um, what I'm doing right now is I am planting a seed to those who are listening to take this idea to prayer and, and have God water the seed that I've planted for you and give you a better understanding on how to deal with all kinds of trials and perseverance through them to develop your endurance. This life is not easy, and everybody faces things that are hard. Um, so I hope that this I hope that this was useful, and um, oh, light went off. So, all right, I hope this was useful. God bless, and don't forget to love one another, um, just as Christ loved you first.